Welcome to Good Libations, which is our program about mixology. I'm Ethel Andrews, I'm a mixologist, and we're going to have an adventure today of several different cocktails, all of which are unique. And I'm going to start with one based on cachaça, because I did a whole episode that involved several cachaça cocktails. In fact, I think there were three of them. And just by way of review, cachaça is the um, distilled beverage, you might say, of Brazil. And it's distilled from sugarcane juice versus rum, which is distilled from sugarcane molasses. So it has an entirely different character, entirely different flavor. It harmonizes with different ingredients. You should blend it differently. And it, I think it's a wonderful liquor. And there needs to be more exposure to it in this country. And we're gonna make a couple of cocktails where we utilize cachaça. And also by way of review, sugarcane was actually brought into Brazil from the island of Madeira, which is a Portuguese possession in the Atlantic Ocean. So that's how sugarcane arrived in Brazil in the first place. And unlike in the Americas where most of our Portuguese people either come from the mainland or the Azores, most of the Portuguese in Brazil actually came from Madeira as well as the main, mainland. So anyway, we're going to get into this particular cocktail and I call it the Mashkenada after the Sergio Mendes song. And Mashkenada roughly means it is nothing in Portuguese. And of course this cocktail I wouldn't say is nothing, but it's an easy one to make, it's refreshing, it lends itself towards the summer, so I consider it a very worthy cocktail. So we're gonna get into how to make it. And this particular cocktail, I like to utilize the tropical drink glass or the chimney glass. And even though many people would actually mix it in the glass, I tend to prefer, as you know, using the actual uh, cocktail shaker as a medium for combining the ingredients. And what I'm going to do, this drink incorporates several different citrus fruit. It has grapefruit, it has lime, it has pineapple, and of course the cachaça. And in addition to that, it's got sparkling water and grenadine. So what we're gonna do first of all, is I'm going to add the pineapple because we're gonna muddle some of these fruits here. And the pineapple is fairly small, but I wanted to make it even a bit smaller. And we don't want an overwhelming amount in the drink. We just want enough to impart a pineapple type flavor. And of course, pineapple can be used successfully with rum based drinks also, but it works well with cachaça because frankly, some of the ingredients that work with rum do not work with cachaça. And I'm going to add grapefruit to it now with my dull knife. We're going to add uh, some grapefruit juice. And then we're going to add a bit of grapefruit proper that we're going to um, muddle as well. So I'm going to cut a wheel relatively thin and uh, this will help us to be able to get a bit more of the infusion from the peel into the drink. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. And then I'm going to add the cachaça because what we want to do is we want to muddle these fruits in the actual liquor. So I'm going to give a pretty good dose of cachaça here. And I'm going to give it a good muddle, hopefully. And that's another thing too, you don't have to go running out to get barware at a specialty store and get an actual muddler. You can use a wooden spoon. In a pinch, you can even use a metal spoon. The idea is to muddle or kind of bruise and mix up the fruit or the mint or the basil or the cilantro or whatever you happen to be using. And of course, in this case, it's grapefruit and pineapple to begin with. And we're not going to pulverize it, we're going to muddle it. And that's a, a mistake that many people make when they muddle, is they overdo it. 
and then you've got basically a mess that's kind of over extracted but we don't want to do that we want to do it just enough so the flavors will impart into the actual liquor proper and then we're going to add some fresh lime to the drink and it's usually better to quarter it and to make sure that your lime is juicy too which means you may have to kind of roll it around on the counter so we want to add the fresh lime to the drink leave a spent shell in there maybe add a little more lime and already it smells good I can tell that all these ingredients are just blending beautifully with the cachaça and then we want to add a little bit of grenadine and grenadine is mostly added for color but it also will impart a certain amount of flavor to this drink also and grenadine is unique you cannot really have a substitute for it some people make homemade grenadine some watering holes some upscale bars actually make their own grenadine but this is just regular grenadine as purchased and now I'm going to blend these ingredients via shaking then I'm going to put ice in the glass and, the, and dispense it into the glass and I did not add ice to this because I want the warmth of the liquor to really catch the infusion from the peel of the citrus so now I'm going to go ahead and add ice to the glass and pour the concoction in and then give it a, a top of sparkling water which will definitely help the drink because this is meant to be a refreshing summer drink that if you were in Brazil you'd be sitting on the beach at Rio and enjoying it underneath a palm tree and the beautiful sands that are unique to the Atlantic and that part of the world and of course their seasons are flipped because they're in the southern hemisphere so right now is actually winter as we're having our summer here so I'm going to go ahead and pour this in the glass leave the fruit there too add a top of sparkling water and this is just enough to give it some petalance not to dilute it too much because we don't want that to happen that's not good that's kind of counterproductive to the whole drink and we can kind of swish it around a little bit just to make sure everything is blended in there nicely and then we're going to give it a taste to see if this cocktail or actual nice tall drink turned out as it should and I'm going to go ahead and give that a try oh that is exceptionally good and again it is so different from anything made with any other type of liquor cachaça is a hard taste to describe oddly it tastes a little bit about like tequila and it tastes a little bit like champagne without bubbles was combined with tequila but that is an excellent drink that is truly worthy and outstanding and again this is a mosh canada just like the Sergio Mendes song this is something that you can enjoy in the summer it's an easy party drink to make if you have a crowd if you have a barbecue absolutely idyllic and I want to thank you again for tuning in to another episode of Good Libations Again, I'm Ethel Andrews, I'm a mixologist, and as I always remind people at the conclusion of my programs, we want to make sure that we are careful with our imbibing, that we have a designated driver that we don't overdo, and that we keep our community safe and well spoken of. Thank you again for tuning in, and enjoy Kashasa. Goodbye.